When Mark said he he's become a fan of the Bellows, how did he know that there would be a band called the Bellows formed in Minneapolis in 2012, featuring Lou Schwitzer and Kent Goodroad? And the one EP that they came out with was seven tracks. Anyone know? I'm just curious. This compilation is half good, or half great, half not good. Um, it's actually almost exactly half and half for me. Um, some amazing tracks here, for sure, and then some honestly duds, some of the worst Chameleons tracks I've ever heard, personally. Uh, I might get flack for saying that, but, you know, every time I say I might get flack, I never do, because you guys love me, and you would hate to see me cry on camera or would you the fan and the bellows three out of five as you can see i'm all over the place on um this thing <laughs> uh so the fan and the bellows fun energetic post-punky opener with a solid riff then breaks away into a more poppy new wave section that's very nice um love will bring me down. good stuff Nostalgia, man. Oof, this track has grown on me like a crazy amount. It's probably like a top five Chameleons track for me. I've said that probably about like 10 Chameleons tracks so far. Uh, and I love that guitar playing in the riff. Uh, and Themic chorus as well. It's just fantastic. It's good. In Shreds, really solid track. Uh, I said it before, uh, I like it more with each listen. I love the blistering guitar riff with urgency. It's just top shelf post-punk. Um, Prisoners of the Sun. I've said it before. Always a fan of this kind of stuff. Not as good as some other more like wistful, atmospheric, nostalgic tracks, but it's solid. Nostalgia, 7-inch version. Not really sure why they included like two very similar versions of the same song, but my opinions are basically the same. Turn to the Vices. Um, here's where I think like things turned a bit south for me. Those repetitive riffs I've mentioned before are back. And it's just too stale for me. Like a total flatline for me, this track. Uh, probably my least favorite Chameleons track I've ever heard. Uh, to be perfectly honest. Love is. Um, the energy on this one's like a bit more dynamic than the last track, but there's still not much here I enjoy. It's not really melodic, and the vibe is just like not there. Um, Every Day I'm Crucified is it's more bland stuff. It just feels like it's derived from better tracks where they explored similar riffs and ideas. Endlessly Falling. That bass riff is a little monotonous, but the chorus is at least, I think, kind of interesting. And then we end with Nathan's phase, which uh, has some atmosphere at least, and the chorus is all right. Um, I think I mentioned it kind of sounded like a script of the bridge-esque era track, which it may have been, I don't know. Uh, it's okay, it's all right, nothing amazing. And uh, yeah, that's the compilation. I love, like, literally, Fan of the Bells, Nostalgia, Intreads, Prisoner of the Sun, Nostalgia 7-inch version, I like those, I have them bolded. The rest I don't, it's like, I, I, I could take the first five tracks and leave the last six is kind of how I see it. Um, I don't know. Maybe you guys disagree. You probably do. Uh, if you do, please let me know why uh, Turn to the Vices is the best chameleon song. Because if you say that, I'm going to unsubscribe from you. I'm going to remove you from my channel. I'm going to unsubscribe you. Anyway, that's all I got for um, Chameleons. Still have to do the Tony Fletcher follow-up, and after that, I will, like, after the end of that video, I will, like, talk broadly about the Chameleons as a whole, because I generally like to do that when I finish up a discography, and I just kind of, like, muse on the band a little bit. Um, but that was Fan of the Bellows. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you all so much for watching, and until next time, Godspeed. Mm -hmm.